another unboxing and a review of a kitchen digital scale. I, I'm gonna use this for my coffees. This is from a brand that I can never pronounce. F E B H B R Q. I have no idea how anyone's gonna pronounce that, but if you guys know, please let me know. So here's the box. The box looks pretty good. I mean, it's just a box, but uh, some specifications on this thing. And I got this off of Amazon, so I'll post the link down below and uh, type them in. Auto calibration, tear function, 90 seconds off timer, operation temperature up to 30 degrees. Huh, that's it? Well, okay. It's gonna be indoors uh, anyway, where it's about. But this one is a 600 grams to, uh, I mean, sorry, 600 grams with a, with a resolution of 0 0.01 grams. Then the other two models were, um, 2 kg and 3 kg with 0.1 gram resolution. I don't want those because when you're measuring coffee, I would rather have 0.01 because it's very hard. Um, yeah, you can do it with that. I've been doing it with something with a resolution of 0.1, but I, I wanted something a little better, a little different. So, but the maximum on this is 600 grams. Let's go ahead and start unboxing this. Down okay. oh, it came with batteries. Nice. Anyway, I'm not gonna use these. I'm gonna put my energizers in there because I just love them. Trust them. They last forever. Uh, yeah, so user manual. Whatever. Put the batteries in there in a bit. So it comes with just one tray. I was supposed to go on there like so. Like it, the packing. And nothing wrong with the unit. Nice brush finish on the on the scale top here. As you can see, very nice brush finish. The buttons look nice too. Uh, like a decent and the build quality is nice as well. And uh, overall, I'm happy. Yeah, there you go. It says which model this is. So this is a. Uh, not sure if you can see that clearly, but 600 grams, 0.01 resolution. I'm really so. So let's no. put that on the side here for a second. Here is the the one that I had bought previously from Amazon, which needs to go back in a day or two. So here's the one. This is a uh, digital pocket scale. Yeah, this is the one with a. Remove the box for a sec. 3 kg capacity and uh, readability they call it 0.1 gram it takes two batteries so they both so let's take the cover off of this thing it comes with one cover uh, not a cover basically it's a it can be used as a cover as well like I just did or you can place it on the scale so you don't tip your stuff over and stays on the scale and this one comes with two which I like there's one right here, a smaller one, a small tray, and then another one which I've, which was sitting in. There you go. That's the second tray. So you got a bigger one for bigger stuff, or or you can use the smaller one. I really like that, and the look as well. It's got that stainless steel, chrome, cheap plastic finish. It's plastic, yeah, it's not metal. But these buttons, you can see, they are metal. <laughs> And the problem is with these buttons, uh, they, I mean, out of the box, they came looking like as if someone has punched them in. They look really bad. So here they both are. Now let's, let's run a uh, side by side comparison of these two. They just scales, that's all they are. Uh, the price wise, they're very uh, comparative. Because this one I got for about nineteen dollars, and that one there was I think twenty one dollars. So let's go ahead and power them both on, so you can see what the difference is. There you go. Obviously, bigger display and brighter. Uh, they're both readable in the kitchen. I mean, how far am I standing from it anyway? But just a little more comfortable. 
um, the backlight lasts a little longer on that one, I guess. Uh, they have the modes, uh, pieces function, um, so both have four buttons, but just that the display is a bit bigger. Finish wise, this one's got that brush stainless steel finish uh, on the top on that one is, has stainless steel finish and so does this one, but I just haven't taken the film off of it because it's going back. So, so let's go ahead and weigh out some coffee. All right, let's do that. So there it is guys. Now just one thing I wanted to point out on this scale, this one. See if I increase the weight by just a couple of beans, I'll move these to the side so I can remove those few beans later. For example, let's do, see now it has drifted off to 14.1, 14.0. It just doesn't detect, detect one bean. So it takes a time to detect one bean. Like, see that. This time it just did not do anything. Nothing. So one more. Four beans, nothing. Oh, now suddenly it jumps to 14.4. That was the problem that I did not like with this thing. Whereas on the other one, if I... Well, I could just use that, but since I zeroed the cup on it, Big boo boo there. Okay, let's try that again. What? No, that can't be right. Fourteen grams. So on the other tray, there you go. Let's move them to the side. Let's start dropping a few pins on it to see how many it takes to make a change to that reading. See, just just one pin. It immediately senses. I guess because that's a lower capacity scale. That's just a six hundred gram scale. Whereas this is, this has a more more of a heavy duty sensor and they're going up to 3 kgs so it's a little more stiffer I guess than that one and this just senses very slight load changes real quick so nothing wrong with this little scale here See, I mean, it's just that I guess I, I got one rated for um, uh, with a higher range I didn't need something up to 3 kg for coffee Thanks for watching. I'm gonna go ahead and make myself a nice cup now. So you guys, please go ahead, subscribe, like, share, whatever you guys wanna do with this. Thank you, and leave me some comments too. Thanks for watching, bye.